Hey, what's up guys? It is SMG for Life Zero One just coming in with this video for you guys today. And yes, as you guys can tell, I am back on Black Ops 2. It's, it feels kind of pretty good coming back on Black Ops 2. And uh, yeah, this map is Encore or Encore, or however you would call it. I call it Encore uh, from the new map pack Uprising. And I'm not going to be doing a video like the one that I did like ages ago when the previous map pack came out where I like put loads of videos together that took a long time and it was just like a huge screw up on my half uh, on the editing end. So I'm bringing you two matches. So the first match is from the game, obviously the map Encore. The second one is from Studio, which is basically a revamp or remake or brought into the future version of firing range as you guys probably know firing range was probably the most favorited map in black ops one uh, and i have to admit from my own opinion firing range was awesome i, I found it like a, a map that was good because it was like in between like a nuketown map and maybe a um array map so a huge map and a small map put together making this map epic and awesome and i don't think i i, I didn't win either of these matches by the way so i just wanted to let you guys know that and obviously uh right now i haven't done a call of duty video in, in actually like a couple of months now and that's why i wanted to post this one and pretty much i bought x i didn't have xbox live for about two three months because i wasn't playing call of duty because if i was playing call of duty i'd be playing it online and uh, as you guys can see here uh the gun i'm using at this moment i'm using the AK-47 with suppressor and uh, I think I have some uh, FMJ on it as well like I can't remember because I changed all my classes once I came back on uh, so actually I don't think I'm using suppressor with this one or maybe I am I clearly do not know it's probably not because it's jumping so much but what I wanted to talk about in this video is coming back to Black Ops 2. It's been a really hard thing transitioning to different games like League of Legends and StarCraft 2. Uh, but I I'm still going to be playing those games. I spent a lot of money for StarCraft 2. If you guys didn't know, I don't like to spend a lot of money on video games. But I decided to go all out and splash out £44 uh, pounds for starcraft 2 and i got both the games heart of the swarm and uh, wings of liberty so i'm able to play both of them and one thing is is that i'm trying to get used to it it's just going to take me a while and i'm probably going to have to play it for a couple of more months in order to get like good at it uh, but i clearly like class myself as just an average gamer i wouldn't like say oh, i'm a pro gamer or anything like that uh, the only best in the world thing that i used to say when i used to say it back in like 2012 when i came up with that uh that was due to wwe and that was like my slogan so best in the world like cm punk always used to say it so i used to say it kind of thing so it was a, it was a cool slogan that i had so one another thing i want to talk about in this video is not just coming back to black ops 2 it's uh raging raging is really a hard thing to overcome especially with me i rage like shit and the thing is i'm playing starcraft 2 and that's like a cool like uh everyone's cool like with you game or kind of game uh so um like i'm playing with people from korea playing from people from sydney uh in australia people from the uk people from everywhere around the world starcraft 2 and they're all cool they all say good luck have fun uh, in call of duty you don't really get that and like when i die in call of duty i get super pissed off and when i die or lose in starcraft 2 i seriously don't really care much I, I lose the match i don't decrease my rank or i i increase my rank if i win and sometimes when i win i do celebrate i go yes i won uh, uh, and the thing is you're, you're playing against people who are way more skilled than you on starcraft and my friend darren antonio who is also on youtube if you go check his youtube channel out um he was like oh i want to try the game out because it looks good uh so yeah he, he, he might come down and uh might do some gameplay or something i don't know but i do have another gameplay to post as a domination gameplay where i just like uh, i not not just me but my whole team or the team that i was on were just like ripping the team apart and we won pretty much simply and yeah these are actually live gameplays i didn't really 
like go into like a recording session and start recording from uh, or like a replay session and start recording like what I've been doing in StarCraft. I kind of wanted to take a different step to it and try to make it as best as possible. One thing I am having a problem with is the Ava Media is not recording with the actual 60 FPS is going to like 6 59 point nine eight or fifty eight fifty nine point nine four whatever and uh, it's just dropping frames like shit i don't know why but any of you guys know let me know in the description and something new that's just happened that just ha pretty much happened yesterday like last night about or oh, well this morning should i say like 12 a.m in the morning i decided i wanted to apply for a uh a, a, another partnership so uh, like uh, obviously I'm with YouTube partnership right now and I'm not really interested in like right now with YouTube I'm not really interested in okay growing my channel through YouTube I wanted to go through something else like YouTube partnership they don't really have much to offer it's just okay you're gonna start generating revenue and stuff like that and uh, what I wanted to do was to be able to live stream to YouTube instead of using twitch.tv even though twitch is pretty much better uh, live streaming with to YouTube being part of a community which obviously YouTube is but I want to be part of the YouTube community and another community and um, I applied for the partnership yesterday while I was talking to my friend and uh, I decided uh, I've been applying for a while I applied for TGN I applied for machinima I applied for uh, full screen and finally I just applied yesterday and straight away I got a email saying that we we have accepted your application to join us and now i'm with full screen arcade so that is going to be an awesome thing it's going to be pretty amazing for me to be part of this whole new community uh, with full screen all these people on like full screen they're probably really helpful and hopefully there's like youtube meetups through full screen and maybe even like in different countries maybe i might head over to some other meetups there so full screen is going to be basically just like doing my revenue stuff like just the same as youtube and uh, pretty much what i'm going to be doing is putting out the same content uh talking about wwe doing my video gameplays uh and like doing some other kind of videos too like not just gameplays i'll be doing some other ones i got a, an idea which i'm probably going to script tonight and then maybe film it tomorrow i'm not too sure because i need to get my lights out start filming them videos as you can see here i'm like shooting this guy for like a year and he doesn't die seriously i hate that about call of duty uh, one thing is the reason why i really left i, I remember playing it uh, and the main reason why i kind of left was because i wasn't getting any fun out of it and that's pretty much the reason why I left like I was like just like oh my god this game is just making me so mad and it, it still is uh, and I, I was just like totally like just upset with uh, uh, obsessed with just trying to get out of this game like I moved to League of Legends uh, I was playing some Dota and uh, playing um, some other games like Starcraft and Company of Heroes Company of Heroes is just too hard I, I bought it for 30 pounds like again i'm spending so much money on games and then um i have to like try and play them that's that's the one thing is like hard for someone to do is play games and then end up having to um stop playing games i guess uh so now we're on studio studio is a really cool map it's obviously a remake of firing range and uh, may i say it again it is one of the most favorite maps in black ops history uh, I had, oh yeah also I want to talk about the new Call of Duty that they like fake released or like they released it on like Tesco's website and it was called Call of Duty Ghost or something and seriously Call of Duty Ghost Ghost is dead in Call of Duty and I have no no idea why they're calling it that because seriously Ghost not really good good name for it just, they should just go with Modern Warfare 4 uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was awesome. I actually felt like like because I was trying to not play Call of Duty I was trying to go back and play Modern Warfare 3 on PC. I mean not PC uh, I did play on PC by the way on my old PC I installed it and tried it out and it was uh, it worked pretty well uh, So in this game, I don't go like okay I don't go like I'm gonna beast these bitches But I do like just play the match and just get through it and obviously do lose um but the next video that I will post, another Call of Duty video, and obviously it'll be, uh, again, like, not about these maps, 
Uh, but I have to admit, some of these maps are pretty damn good. Some people obviously are saying that, okay, it's not that good. And I can see where they're going with these maps. They're copying Black Ops 2. Uh, or, well, Black Ops, not Black Ops 2. They're, they're copying it with, uh, like, the first match that you watched. They're copying it with that, comparing it to Stadium in uh, Black Ops. Um, and obviously, this is firing range from Black Ops. Just more more uh futuristic basically it's like uh nuke town but like like it's basically nuke town 2025 that year and they have this uh, whole new look to it and the thing is is that it's supposed to look futuristic but they added so much of this other stuff to it which is the old school look so it makes it look futuristic but not also futuristic but it makes it look like old old school so that's one thing that's actually pretty good. As you can see there, if you go in, you've got a green room right there. So you've got a green screen. So you can like just pose around there and just like film yourself and then chroma key the background out and stuff like that. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to be able to do. So one thing that, that is really like, like I when I came back to playing like Black Ops 2, it was just like, okay, I'm going to play one match and I'm going to beast. And that pretty much actually happened, I think. I'm not too sure. I, I, I went. I didn't go negative. I can tell you that. I was like, I was probably like close to a two. I was, I was ten for six, so I was more than a one point zero ratio, and um, I couldn't believe it. It was pretty crazy. I was coming back to a game that I haven't played in a while, so I was like, okay, this should be uh, fun. And yeah, it was pretty fun. And I, the thing I missed about it was playing with friends. But the thing is, with StarCraft, I was playing with with people anyway. I was playing with like my uncle. Who would come on because he lives in like Canada and he will be like the the time difference is like crazy it's like eight hours back behind us in the UK so I, if I'm gonna play and he comes home from work at a specific kind of time I have to wait and or play matches until he's able to come on and play so that's pretty much the the thing that I was doing and actually I'm, I talked to some guy yesterday from Sydney if he checks out this video, which I doubt because he's a StarCraft 2 player. And I don't think StarCraft 2 players play Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, he he was just like, we just had a match against each other, a custom match on StarCraft. And we were just like playing. And he was just like, he, he told me he would help me out. He will train me a bit. So that's one cool thing. Like the, the people on StarCraft are really helpful. And they, they, they want you to have a good match. As you can see here, I got this stupid gun with a target finder thinking I was going to kill someone and ended up not killing that bitch. Uh, so I had to figure out some ways, especially in this game, like I have no clue how to like even play it anymore. I've totally gone off strategy wise with Call of Duty. As you can see here, it does have a bit of ghosting and that is due to the frame rates, the, dif the difference in the frame rates, which is bloody annoying and I hate it. Uh, but um, hopefully I'm able to fix that with the Ava Media because the Ava Media is really hard like to understand it and um, like any people who are trying to get a a like or getting into like capturing games and stuff like that uh, or game get, capturing gameplay should I say um, I I would say seriously don't go for the Ava Media right now I think the Black Magic's probably been the best to me uh, I don't have it anymore my friends using it. But I think that was the best until it just like failed and the audio started going out of sync and it just stopped recording. Uh, frames would drop. I don't know what caused it. It could have been my um, my hard drives or whatever. But now I'm running an SSD and then recording footage from like this to the SSD. And I don't know why the hell it's like fluctuating with the FPS and stuff. So I need to figure out something with that because that really does piss me off because I remember it is I remember it just like messing up my videos back when I would record with the uh, the Roxio and the um, the black magic intensity pro I, well I think the next capture card I'll probably get is probably the next Ava media one the external capturing device and hopefully soon maybe I might be able to get a a laptop uh, and if I Managed to get myself get my hands on a good enough laptop. I'll be able to record using that so I won't just like be sitting around using uh, My PC because my PC is a beast, but um, I think it needs a, a bit of an upgrade and it does cost quite a bit to upgrade Actually, I recorded a match straight off the this one because I joined my friend who sent me a invite 
So, um, I, yeah, I actually left my uh, notifications on. I didn't turn them off because I'm awesome. Oh, I went for a 1-0 one, one oh, uh, KD on that match. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that there might be a bit of ghosting. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, peeps.